Okay, so in this video we're going to be looking at Fishy Tactics, which is a game by Toby Fairclough. Uh, those of you who listen to our podcast will remember that Toby came on a few episodes ago to discuss the campaign and the game and how it came about. So if you're a bit more interested in that, then just look for that episode on our website. Um, Fishy Tactics is a light little game. Uh, this is the green edition, so it doesn't come with a, a retail box. Um, it's for ages four and up, two to four players, and it takes around ten minutes to play. So this is what the, the green edition comes with. It's, we've also got some extra little animal meeples here, but we'll cover those in a little while. So let's look at the contents of the, the game. So we've got, first of all, the manual. I say manual, the sheet telling you how to play it. Not many, many rules because rules, it's nice and easy to play, so we'll go through that in a moment. But uh, the game board here is uh, a nice little cloth. So let's just put that out. So if you want to see it. There we go. And we also have lots of uh, little tokens. So we've got fish. Lots of little coloured fish, which are all worth different points. And we have the croc. And a little arrow. So, if we start off with the following the rules here, it says each player selects a boat, so everyone gets a different colour, so blue, yellow, red or orange. Uh, place the croc in the centre square, boom, and place the fish randomly in the grid, one per square. So let's just put a few fish around here. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. So the way it works is, players take it in turns to roll the arrow and move the croc one space in that direction. The croc eats any fish that it lands on. So that was that way. So gobble, gobble, gobble. Crocodile's eating that. And then you roll the fish die and move a fish up to that many spaces. And any fish that land on your boat, oh, the dice has gone flying across the room, but it's landed on a three, so you can move a fish up to that many spaces. So say if I was yellow, I would go one, that's it, I've caught that fish. Yeah, there's also a fish on the dice, so if you roll that, you can uh, steal one from another player. Yeah, the croc eats any fish it lands on and any fish that end a turn on top of it. If the arrow directs the croc off the grid, the croc does not move. If there is a disagreement, the direction the arrow indicates is decided by the player who rolled it. So if it lands in sort of like that sort of way, someone's like, no, it's up. No, no, it's to the side. Fish may not move diagonally. Fish may move equal to or less than the number of space indicated by the die. Fish may stack on top of each other. Okay, so you may have two or three in one place, and then if the croc landed there, he eats all of them. Fish may move through a croc square without being eaten, okay, so you could go one, two, three, four. And you may intentionally feed fish, if there's a high value one that you don't want your the other players to get, then you can uh, make sure it goes off the board. So that's the base game. Fairly simple, but there's probably going to be a lot of tactical play going on. Uh, say if you're moving fish around so other people can't get them. So that's that. So we'll have a quick look at the extra meeples next. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got the duck meeple, rather large duck. But that is just a straight replacement for the crocodile because, you know, why would you not want a duck instead of a croc? So the same movement rules apply to the duck when you get a yellow arrow marker instead. So that's that. There's also the hippo. So the hippo has got a different set of rules. So if we just have a look at that. Hippopotamus expanimus. 
and there's a lot of extra house rules that comes with this as well. So the hippo replaces the croc and moves that's in the same way. However, the hippo does not eat the fish it lands on, but sits on top of them. Fish underneath the hippo may not be moved, so it doesn't remove them from the game, it just temporarily stops them from being moved. But you've also got these extra little uh, versions of the game that it came with as well. And if you do want to know more about Toby and any upcoming games he's got and the ones he's designed up to now, then his website is www.mushroomgaming.com. So thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.